Howdy y'all, I'm Lone Star Riding here. I'm going to make some apple pie baked beans. Yeah, y'all guys stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle Guys, I'm glad y'all stuck around. I saw this apple pie baked bean on somebody's YouTube channel, and I don't remember their name, but I'll put it right here. You can go check that out. Uh, this is my kind of version on that. I did cook this at the Lola Palooza potluck, and it went really well, so I thought I'd cook it for Thanksgiving dinner at my sister's house. So, what all this includes is one pound of hamburger meat, and I like the more fatty type, more 75, 15 instead of the more lean. And you ground that up, and you put, where did it go? There it is. You put your own seasoning that you like. Well, of course, what I'm putting on there is Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. Yeah, I think this makes the difference. Absolutely. Then you put in two cans of bushed bush. You put in two cans of bush baked beans. And then I, I put this one in here. It's brown sugar hickory, so it's a little sweet. And then I like mine a little spicy. Not a lot. I'm, I'm a wimp. If it's too spicy, I'll go cry home to mama, so... No spike, not real spicy. But this one here is sweet heat uh, bush baked beans. So uh, when you mix up the two, it, it reduces it. What you do is you cook all that hamburger meat and I put that spice in there. Just brown it a little bit. It doesn't have to be uh, too much. And then I have to reach over here. So I want to scare you guys. Uh, I put in a can of apple pie filling in there. Uh, the next thing that you put in there, when you're doing all this, when you're adding it up, you mix it up. Uh, you take some mustard, and I just put a tablespoon of yellow mustard, and you continue mixing it, and then Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. This is a Walmart third brand. Uh, put a tablespoon of that in there, mix it up, and then you put a whole cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. This is Sweet Baby Ray's that I put in there. Um, and I put a little more than a cup. I would show you all this, but I did this last night and I forgot to record it. So, baked beans. So then all you put that into uh, one one pot. So I'm going to show you that here. There, there. It's all mixed up together. Yeah. And then the next thing you do after it's all mixed up together is that you bake it for two hours on 215 degrees. And uh, you just let it cook. When I did it over in Lola Palooza, uh, Billy. And Rhonda Strong let me do it on a Dutch oven there. And I am no expert on Dutch oven. Uh, but he helped me out with that. It turned out really good with Dutch oven. But we're going to be using that stove back there. And we're going to add that, you know, heat it up. Uh, so let's do that right now. We're going to go preheat the oven. I do not know, know this oven, but I've got it set. I'm going to let it preheat, then we're going to set it in there for two hours, and I'll be right back with you. Every morning I usually drink water. Uh, what is this? A liter. I usually drink about a liter of water every morning. Uh, 
I don't like coffee, but it usually gets me started. And today I'm drinking number three crazy water from Mineral Wells. Cheers. That's some high quality H2O. Uncle Steve, Gator Shake, this stuff is awesome. So when you uh, put it in to bake, you sprinkle a cup of brown sugar, yeah, brown sugar over the top. Uh, I don't put a whole lot of that in there. Just a little bit. Um, yeah. And what I'll also do is after it bakes, I'll spread a little bit more. And that, that's about it. So let's check the oven. It's going, so I am now going to put the baked beans in there. Uh, the concoction. And I'm putting it in this pan here. There. We'll let it uh, simmer for a couple hours, and then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's too early in the morning. We're doing this, yeah. So anyway, I'll let it simmer for. I'll let it simmer for a couple hours, and then we'll check back in on it. Well, it's time to take the beans out of the oven because my daughter Crystal will be here shortly and have to get it ready to transport over to uh, my sister. So let's take a look at it. Let's uh, take a look at these big beans. Okay. They do look done. We're going to give this a taste. Let it cool here just a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Good stuff. All right. Yeah. All right, this is what we had for Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Betty Jo's over here uh, doing her, putting everything up things. I'm not putting it up, I'm covering it up. Oh, she's covering it up. She's ashamed. She's covering everything I up. I don't want it to go stale or bad. Yeah. So what do you think about the baked beans? The I loved pie? them. They were really good. Okay. Testimony right there. There they are. About halfway gone. We had turkey over here. We had ham. Burrell really liked the uh, sweet potato thingy here. 
Casserole. Casserole, that's what it's called. Uh, stuffing and then, uh, of course, we got the standard uh, green bean casserole. I'll help you on one condition. Everybody's gathered around the table, jabbering. The, key, the, the cat turned the key on. The cat turned the TV on. Oh. The cat turned the TV on. Yeah, well, there's the cat back there. Okay. Usually I get the center of the cake and somebody beat me to it. Echo is the corporate and Stephanie is the They're the ones that uh, cut the center out of my, my carrot cake. Stinkers. <laughs> well, guys, the uh, baked beans turned out awesome. And I'll have the uh, recipe down below and you can uh, check that out. The only thing that could have made that better is maybe adding bacon to it. <laughs> Everything is better with bacon. Um, it was a great Thanksgiving. Spent it with the family. Um, always a good time. And guys, I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. Um, this video is posted the day after Thanksgiving. So I hope you had a good one. And I hope you have a good Christmas coming up. You know, the holidays. <laughs> I'll be running down to uh, Goliad and then over to uh, Navasota for their Christmas stuff there. So if you're in the area, just stop by and say hello. And guys, if y'all are not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell. Mm -hmm. And you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if y'all like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment. Let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road for Thanksgiving. For mineral whales. For min and you'll get an email notification. And you'll get an... <laughs>